Wow, howdy folks. We're gonna do a workbench today from who else? Vivor, yeah. And we're gonna put it together and take a look at it. It's supposed to be adjustable height, uh, also good for about 1,600 pounds. Looks like it's got some nice features and looks like a nice workbench. This might be a long video today because I also have a second product from who else? <laughs> I want to take a look at So, hey, let's hang out in the garage today and see what we can get into, huh? Yeah. Okay, it came in this box from VWork. This comes in three sizes. So this is uh, technically the small one, which is 48 by 24 inch top on it. I've already unpacked it, so we can uh, sort of get to the assembly part of this thing. So let's get this box out of here. <laughs> So everything that comes in the box is at least laying here. I've got two mystery boxes of uh, parts and goodies, but uh, also have the two si the two end caps, which also have. I noticed they have the uh, yeah the pegboard type system on each end, which is which is cool, and the two front strips. The top is a good looking, really nice finished hardwood, and uh, some instructions on how to assemble all this. One correction: uh, the capacity is said to be two thousand pounds. And this one, like I said, this is the 48 or four foot model, if you like. There's also a five foot model and a six foot model of this bench. So we're gonna get into the four foot model. Well, the first box I, uh, I opened has these really nice heavy casters. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is an option. Uh, you have an optional uh, stationary foot that you can put on this or you can put it on casters for roll around. I really like roll around, so. We're definitely putting the wheels on, but man, look at these wheel sets they sent here. Good grief. They got nice, uh, you know, foot lock on them so you can lock them down. They got really nice wide, looks like a, like a hard nylon or something wheel on them. And we've got some more goodies, so. Wow. Okay, so we got four of those, and yeah, I think this is the other one. Yeah, this is, wow, these are heavy too. Oh, those are pretty. These are uh, the stationary foot. So if you don't want the bench to be roll around, you can also put these stationary pads on that look like something out of a moon landing for NASA or something here. Wow, those look good. And they've got a really nice, yep, aggravated, you know, sort of rubber, hard rubber bottom on them. So they won't scuff up your floor too much. And then they've got really nice solid bolts and a really nice finish on them. Golly, I'm almost tempted to want to have those on there just for the look, but I really like wheels, so. And that's that's what came in that box. Okay, let's get to that. Let's get to the other box and see what else we got in here. But the uh, there shouldn't be too much, right? Because workbenches are kind of basic, you know. But at the same time, they can be they can really make or break your day. Let's see, well, okay, we have a power strip which will go on one end of the bench with a really nice long power cord up to 15 amp. So and you got wow, one, two, three. Four outputs plus, yeah, two USB jacks. And they're the US, the <clears throat> original USB, not the other funny one. Yeah, I gotta love that. And a little power switch with an on and off with light so you see when you get power on the bench or not. That is, that's a nice feature. I do like that, yeah. And I'm sure there's some nuts and, oh yeah, nuts, bolts, and uh, hardware. Oh, wow. We've got a bunch of peg systems for the uh, peg boarding that's at each end of the workbench, so you can, you know, hang some tools up there. And I guess I'm assuming this should be the bolts. Yep. And the screws. And yeah, there's a, yep, there's a mess. Looks like we'll take the, uh, oh, okay, we've got some knobs here for adjustment for the legs. We've got nuts, bolts, washers, and of course the Yep, wooded screws that will go into the top. I'm gonna have to get all this off of here, so I'm gonna flip the top, because obviously when we assemble this, we're actually on the back side of the top, putting all this together. This is this is actually looking like a really nice bench. And from the price I saw on this thing, compared to uh, the big box stores, it looks like a real deal, so it's a winner, yeah. Okay, I flipped the bench top over. There's a front on the bench top, I guess we'll call it, where there's a nice label. Of course, it says Vivor. I love the fact they put their name on the products that they, they sell. Uh, there's pre-drilled little holes for all the wood screws that are going to go in to help hold all of this assembly to this top. So 
yeah, it should be a no-brainer. And also, uh, there's metal screws, and they go in the back and the front, of course, to hold these sides on, but uh, they actually gave you uh, four on each end. So you could make this the back, this the front, something like it, depending on what you want. All right, they sort of gave you like an option on that. The, the uh, assembly instructions are okay. They're not, you know, they're not real detailed or anything like that about which screw to use for which part or something. So you're a little bit on your own there. <laughs> Typical, but at the same time, what is it? Tim Allen says something about, you know, real men don't need uh, instructions. <laughs> you know, so that's what we're going with. So I'm going to drive some of these screws in and start putting this bad boy to together. It looks like it's going to be really cool when it gets all done. I uh, don't recommend using an impact driver unless you're really good at it because uh, impacts can get you a lot in a lot of trouble. I don't over drive you know my screws in especially with wood screws and things so you can strip them out real quick. Now this so happens I just put those two in and this absolutely lines up beautifully back here so I'm going to go ahead and put my hard screws in and then finish putting screws on each on, on this end and this end just so that everything is right where it's supposed to be. I've got all the wood screws in and I've got all the mechanical screws that go in the front and the back here to hold these sides on and all the screws on. I've got extra screws left over. They gave you more than enough. They also gave you more than enough mechanical screws even to put these on with, which is cool. So I guess the next thing we need to do is probably cut these loose and put these extension uh, pieces up. And there are two uh, knobs to lock in each of the extension legs so you can set this thing at the height you want. I'm thinking uh, <clears throat> I like it high, so I might go up as high as the 39 and a half. I'm not sure because the wheels are going to add quite a bit of height too. So I really don't know what we're going to top out. I guess 39 and a half. That's what the instructions say. Okay, when this came in packed, these were already, uh, yeah, they had the uh, cable ties here to hold these together. So we'll cut those off, get the wrapping off of them. I've got the first one uh, in position here for the maximum height because they give you all these holes so you can set the adjustment on the height on the bench. But these are just plastic little knobs and you get a little nut that goes on the back side. You don't need to over tighten those because really the workload is going to be on the bolt, not on this. And all, all this is going to snug it up a little bit. It's just so it doesn't you know rattle out of there kind of thing over time. But that's about all you want. So you don't want them real tight. So let's get the four of these on there, and I guess I've got to screw my wheels in too while I'm at it. On each of these uh, legs that slide in here, and you can see the holes, you want to line them up with the holes that are, of course, on the bench leg, a no-brainer. But they're pre-threaded here for your, uh, either your stationary feet or your roll-around. Also, the roll-around, I noticed all four wheels are, uh, you know, freewheeling caster type. So that's really cool because the whole bench can just, you know, Float around in a circle if you want to, which I again I like that, you know. So we'll get these in and then we'll get the wheels on her and we'll get to the power. And I'm going to show you a little quick trick on the power situation with the power cord. Okay, I've got my four caster wheels and everything set up. And I guess the final deal right here is this power supply that goes on one end of the bench. And there was two little screws in the package that you'll find a little F5, and they're two little uh. Phillips screws, so don't lose them. <laughs> that's that's for this right here. <laughs> yeah, and we'll just tighten that up just real careful, like because it's just plastic, I think. Yeah, there we go, nice and snuggy. And then we've got an on-off switch that will allow us power on the bench. I guess time to flip this thing over and really take a good look at it. Wow, I flipped it over and put it on its wheels. The wheels are no brainer, they just, you know, screw in. And you just use the hub part of the wheel in order to uh, drive it up. You, again, you don't need it real tight or anything. They are 17 millimeter wrench if size if for some reason you decide you want them tight or something, but I, I wouldn't do it. Uh, the whole bench now rolls around and is quite loose, so that's fabulous. Now, height wise, I like a high bench. This is really high. And I was really, I was thinking the wheels would do the trick and they, they sure did. It's 41 almost 41 and a quarter inches to the top of the, the workbench at this point. 
which again, like I said, I really like a high workbench for certain types of process or certain you know things that I'm working on. It's nice to have everything right up in your face. You can pull a nice little bar bar chair, you know, a little bar stool up here and uh, drink your margarita or work on something. I rolled her around so she's right over top of my woodworking bench. This power cord, a lot of times what I'll do, uh, depending on, there's, there's a couple of options. One thing is I just put a big heavy elastic band around one of the legs and then just elastic band it up when you're not using it that way. It's not a, a trip hazard or a problem and the power cord is not getting in, into anything, you know, getting in trouble. Uh, the other thing you can do in this particular workbench is you can use their pegboarding system and of course you can put a, one of the pegs down this end and just hang the power cord. The third trick you can do is uh, actually 3D print something and just put a you know a couple of clips right here where you can wind the power cord up and have it put away or something like that. Which I have done in the past is just make my own out of a 3D printer. Wow, quite a bit. I'm gonna put this over the bench and drag, drag it back here even. There is a lot of power cord involved and it's a good heavy, uh, you can feel the, the quality of the cord is good and heavy. I'm gonna plug it in back over here. But uh, there she be, and then when you have her on, you'll see a little red light on there, and you've got four outlets plus your USB, so that makes for an awesome workbench, but there's more. Let's take a look at the uh, other accessory that came with this. There's pegboarding at each end of the bench, and Vivor includes <laughs> yeah, all, 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 this, all these goodies here for pegboard accessories, all different lengths of hooks and things so that you can pretty much put together whatever it is that you want comfortably and customize the bench to, well, your likes. And like I said, I'd probably take a couple of ones like this or something and put it in the pegboard just where you can hang the uh, power cord if you need the power cord out of the way at times because this whole bench right now can just, it's just, this sucker is just floating on those wheels. It is, feels beautiful. And I just put some hooks up. I've got lots of hooks still. They, they gave me plenty of hooks for whatever it is I want to put on the side of the bench. The uh, link will be in the description below where you can find a great deal on this Vibor workbench panel set. And they even come in three sizes. This is the four foot model right here for 48 inch by 24. And again, the 24 is nice too. A lot of the old benches used to be 18 inch, so I really like having the 24. The adjustable height is awesome too because I can also set this up as a feed table for my uh, table saw. So there's a lot of various applications to an adjustable workbench, of course, for height. Uh, plus the wheels are just, this thing just feels like it just, it's just floating in here right now. But I can also lock it so that it won't move. And uh, I like the, the pegboarding system being metal, I'm okay with that. I'm not a big pegboard fan, but a metal one like this with the hooks and everything is a really nice kit. Yeah, so who is this workbench for? I think it's for everybody, anybody. And not just a, an outfeed table or something for my table saw, but uh, a high workstation. There's just a lot of applications to have a nice roll around workbench and you don't necessarily need a big one. I think four foot by 24 inches is perfect. I can put 3D printers on this thing and make it a station or a movable roll around station with 3D printers. Uh, besides the outfeed, I can also take this out to my barn and use that right by the door where I can haul, have the tools and the shop and everything roll over by the car, bring it back in the barn kind of thing and put it up against the wall. This is actually a lot more useful and a lot better than a lot of tools that I own. So yeah, <laughs> who would think a work banger, you know, but yeah, it's, uh, it's really, it's just something you really need. And that, now, so you need it, I need it, we all need it, okay, yeah, you know, oh, we need a, we need a good workbench, <laughs> you darn too. Now, Vivor also sent over some uh, pegboarding systems. We're going to get into that, uh, I guess, maybe Monday next week or something, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at their pegboard system. It looks really good. The pegboarding looks like it would be really cool right behind this workbench right here. And I think what we'll do is we'll set up a station with the pegboarding from Vivor plus the Vivor table and we will have a nice combination look. But this table has so many uses, I'm a little blown away. I did not expect to be that overly impressed or thought about afterwards and say, you know what, yeah, you know, there is a lot of use for, you know, a work table like this around my shop. Uh, I thought I was all done with that. Apparently I'm not, you know, and especially because of the depth, it's better than quite a few benches I already, I, that I already have. Okay, folks. Hey, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe. Have a great week. We've got a lot more going on this week. Thursday, I'm not sure. Uh, Thursday, I think we're doing a power station, but uh, 
it's all up in the air right now. Wow. Uh, the, the weather is what, the heat is what's really killing me here. But I've got to get out of here, so oh, over and out.